Yeah. No, that's a good idea. I, th- I really think we should do this. Yeah, we I think it's fucking 22 genius. minute episodes. You know, brill. I love four it. Minutes a week, dude. Four episodes a week, 20 minute episodes. And genius, we have dude. the one long one, which is the review. We're going which to is... change podcasting. Yeah. You, hold on, you're going to acknowledge the other thing. That and also, it means we're literally we're making. Going to. Okay. We can do the review stuff, yeah. Okay. It literally means, though, that we're doing. We're essentially doing one day's worth of work and we're stretching out as far as we possibly can. It's kind of funny. It's fucking brilliant. It is. It's brilliant. the American dream. It is the American dream. It's like we're doing the whole uh, the Saul Kine way of doing it, or like the make two movies. Or no, yeah, that's like, disgusting with those. Make guys. two movies at once. Tell everyone it's one movie, but you're actually making two movies. I mean, guys, respect. It was a fucking clever idea. You know what we'll do shady. when we get a third host? Is what we'll do. We'll tell them we're doing one episode. So I don't know why we're paying a host in this situation. I want Lunchbox to be our occasional. I do. I host. texted Lunchbox and I was straight up like, "Dude, you want to move to New Jersey and paint?" And he was like, "Something." No, yeah, seriously, he, tell him it's coming from me we'll too. Call him. That'd be so cool. Yeah, get him on the po- uh, yeah. This is get a him trial. on the cast. This is a practice. Get him right? on the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what's up. Uh, yo, if this guy doesn't fucking answer the phone. He's fake and phony. That's true. Why is my phone? See how many f sounds I got in there? <laughs> yo, straight the voice. Straight the voice. What a shady now. bitch. Yeah, that's, that's a little fucked up. Honestly, you gotta connect your phone. Oh I'm god, no! That. I dropped the guy from Austria. What? I kicked the thing. I thought I had to drop because it's from Austria. A little dumb. casual play that went to Austria. That's right. I'm close. Let's go connect ever. I've my traveled. Phone? No. You're not interested in connecting here. I've been around the world. La 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 la. Dude, references are tight on this. show. <sighs> they are, but well, this isn't connecting. Like, this isn't going to be at work. So you can just tell your story you wanted to mention. That's fine. My story seems so lame in comparison. Your story but probably last lame episode. Yeah, because let's be honest, you're a lame I'm guy. lame in comparison. You're, you're not cool. You're like you're like you're like the. I'm Alex Light. Yeah, you're, you're like like really. Light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the Alex like. Like when Michelob put out Michelob Gold, which was only like 90 calories. Like yeah, the or lowest PBR Extra. Yeah, I'm that version of Light Alex. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty funny metaphor. You're like the fucking... You're like... um. What's that beer called? That clear beer from the 90s? Oh, Zima. You're like the Zima of people. <laughs> really popular in the Asian community, but nowhere else. <laughs> That's not a bad place to be, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we look at demographics, and Robbie tests absurdly well in Asia. All joking aside, it'd be funny to know. I kind of hope that happens now because that would just be, be the funny. funniest random fact to have about me. When I was doing the Twitch stuff, it let's was funny do it because I had like thirty-five percent of my viewership was Australian, and it made no sense. That's crazy. It was really funny. You should uh, get them the cross over to here so we get. 35% of our viewership. I don't know. Australia. Supposedly, uh, my one friend, my I one, get the, my one uh, the Asian, Kiwi friend. Um, the Asian population, like I said, I think it's a really cool thing. Yeah. Sorry. It was cool when I said it a minute ago. I'm really glad you brought it up again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So, Thanks. my one friend, I said my one Kiwi friend, this New Zealander who now lives in Australia. That's so cute Katie. they go by Kiwi. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What? It's really cute they go by Kiwi. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so Katie says that they, Katie, my point was Katie says that she watches, she listens and then watches this and she, but I don't know if that's true, but she said last time I talked to her, but it could be a lie. That's a weird lie to bring up if she didn't know about it. Like she had to have found out. Well, about no, it. I'm not even sure least. how those people found out about it. Cause I don't remember mentioning it. I think someone just found out about it. And then I remember she asked me to tell her when we started posting them and I never did. And then like three months later, she's like, wait, you've posted already. And then she said she was going to start watching them. And I talked to her like last month. She's like, yeah, I watched like almost all of them. And I was like, I don't, that's cool. My point is, if she hears this, uh, why would I even give her a shout out? Oh, because the you said people, you should get the Twitch people to come watch the podcast. Maybe they already are. I don't know. There's a chance. So last week you were complaining about something. What was I complaining about last week? The thing about the uh, the anime. It's really funny too. If we just so we're gonna be we're, we're being we're, we're saying we're filming four episodes a day or three episodes a day. Three or four. Uh, yeah, day, three to four yeah. a day. We're uploading them all in the week. But I still think it's hilarious if we call each episode last week on. Like if we always that say we are, that's what our general things are called. Yep, that's our next ones. We need we have the watching the first watching the pilot. No, you're, not, you're missing my point. It didn't land. My point, no, no, no. My point was saying it'd be funny if we always refer to the last episode as last week. Yeah, even though they're coming, even though we're filming them back to back to back. Yeah, and, we'll and they're going up the same week. week. Yeah, that even come, yeah, it's hilarious. That is really hilarious. It's really funny to say last on the last week's episode. You know, we're doing multiple episodes a week. We should call this segment last week on yesterday's episode. Yeah, last week on yesterday's episode. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I like that. So no, that's pretty good. We're probably I also, I also that. wish I could just, dude. We got to hire an assistant. Yeah. And you're thinking everyone's listening again. We have a hundred, our hundred and thirty-five loyal viewers. You're thinking like you guys can't possibly. You're not ready for an assistant. You're right. We're not, but we should be. You know why? Because like, what if we could just stream? What if we could just like, we could just talk for hours and hours and hours and have that motherfucker handle everything. We are ready for that because that's what's holding us back from getting the get this to the next level because yeah, we, we just can't need, streamline it. 
Yeah, honestly, we need to fucking Henry Ford this shit. We need an assembly line, okay? We need to hire a thumbnail maker. We need to hire a fucking videographer. We need to hire a fucking editor. We need a personal assistant. Okay, we need a, we need a, we need a mixologist. We need a fucking personal shopper, okay? Well, you're thinking too we small. Need, like, we, need, thinking... Like, we, need, we need like a 60-person office. Yeah, but we could also hire one person to do three of those four gigs you just brought up. Yeah, but then here's the, here's the, here's a real question. Here's an important question, actually, okay? Mm-hmm. First off, before I forget, what we we've, this is the third episode we're recording today. What's the title for the first episode going to be? You think? Uh, the first episode. What we talk about that one? I think I remember we talked about back then. Well, I know the second was the the friend situation. The second one I remember. The second one was a heavy one. I remember the, the first, the first, one. The first one. one. The first one was lame compared to the second one. The first one was how we're going to revolutionize the podcast industry, and I talked about Justin Kirk for like an hour. Justin Kirk. And it was only twenty two minutes long. Oh, and tubing ties. Tubing ties. Yeah, tubing ties. It's close enough to t- ties tubed. Tubes tied. <laughs> so. My point, though, is I genuinely don't know. I'm going to cut you off for a second. What's great about our, our show is you just went like this, this stream of consciousness around your ideas, and you didn't care how it came out or how it sounded. You're just like, I'm just going to go with my thought. Not a lot of places have the balls to just get that real with their, themselves. That's fair. That's a good point. You glad I brought it up? I yeah, am, I actually. You are. I am glad you brought it up, because I was going to say, I think I'd say that is a skill of mine or a flaw of mine that I... I think it's speak. slightly a floor that you don't care, but it's kind of hilarious. Yeah. You don't care, and it's also you 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 speak in a song um, in a story Sing style song? way. Did you try to say in? No, in a story style way. So like, it sounds like you're telling a story that you're not. You're just literally reading yeah, off yeah, a blank yeah. thought. That's true. That's pretty interesting because I verbalize everything I'm thinking all the time. Because I I guess I'm deathly afraid of silence. I don't know. I think you're just an egocentric. You have to constantly hear your own voice. That's fair. I do. You know what? I do like the sound of my own voice. That's that's a thing. We've all like. noticed that because this guy's need to talk. That's, that's, he does, you need like, like a more voice. That's why? Yeah, but maybe I like the sound of my voice. I like how I sound my talk. Yeah, I hate how I sound. So, get you fucked, idiot, okay? That's why I can't speak. You give me the chance. Get time to get the floor. I feel like I sound like a moron. <sighs> I have some natural swagger, bro. I don't tell you. Yeah. Um, No, my point was the hiring editors and everything. It's like, what's the relationship like with an editor? Is it like, is it a friend? Can it be a friend? Should it be strictly business? Should they be in here while we're recording? It could be someone remote who doesn't even live near us who just edits the stuff and we send them the files. How do we send them the files? It seems like such, such an all art. What do you pay him? Is it per episode? Is it a salary, weekly salary? Is it based on the hours that they actually put editing into it? I don't know any of these answers. Well, at this stage, the pay would be getting on the ground floor of hanging out with these two guys. Yeah. That's actually a fair, that's actually a really, that, that, that sounds like you're being a dick. That's actually a fair point. Is if we're ta- we're taking this as seriously as we are, like, oh, because yeah, then then you're gonna get a massive fucking compensation deal at the end of that. I don't I don't know if those are the right terms, but you get know. what I'm saying. What is? I'm not the smart one. So, do you us. think you'd prefer having someone who was remote or someone who actually came in here and sat but didn't talk? It's it's a catch twenty two, which I know is not the right saying at all. But I feel like remote makes more sense. I think it'd be super awkward to have someone in here. However, when we watch like fucking your mom's house and or your mama's house, which one is it? Your mom's house, your mama's house. I'm fucking your mom's house, I think. Your mom's house. Speaking of which, dude, have you not mentioned that? We're seeing Tom Segura. Yeah, how cool, Next cool month. is that? Yeah. So fucking cool. Yeah, so we reached out to him. He got his tickets, and yeah. uh, he's going to come on the show. He's comp. It's actually fully comped. Pretty Hotel awesome. comp. Uh, he's going to give us a couple, a, couple, a couple stacks to play with in the casino at Sands. And I was going to make a... Ah, oh, you fucked. You weren't supposed to say that. Sands? Yeah, because now we got a sponsorship deal. We're Wind Creek. We're not supposed to say what it used to be called. Oh We're in the Wind Creek Casino. The Wood Creek Casino. I forgot. Wind Creek, you moron. You just said Wood Creek. <laughs> the Wind Creek Casino. They're not going <laughs> to sponsor us now, man. I'm about to say Wind River, too. So fuck you, dude. Ghostwood. Ghostwood. Twin Peaks reference. Uh, I was referencing that movie by um, Taylor Sheridan, Wind River, with oh, Jerry yeah. Renner and Elizabeth yeah, yeah. Olsen. Um, you know what my thoughts on that movie are? In a second. Quickly? 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 This is a talk about right now. You know my thoughts yes. on that movie? What? I was sleep watching it twice. <laughs> that good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, see, race. that wouldn't make sense to bring up five minutes from now, would it? Tell me you read the fucking room next time. Know what the fuck to respond to, okay? Yeah. Could you do that next time? Could you tell when there's a conversation happening and when to move the fuck on from it? Instead of being a goddamn moron who's like, let's change now. We'll go back to that when it won't make fucking sense. Yeah, I, I'm going to try to. Thanks, man. That'd be sick. Uh, I'm going to try to get better. <laughs> uh, I tell you, you're sweating, bro. Yeah, he's serious, man. <laughs> no, I knew you were. I just didn't know how long that bit was going to go on for. <laughs> Uh, and because you're making it go on so long, I started losing confidence in myself. That I'd be able to make my part yeah, worth yeah. anything. So, what are you thinking about that editor, the relationship? Catch twenty two. You're rocking a hard place. I like. I think both have pros and cons. But at right now, I think I'd rather just have a remote person. Yeah, but maybe we get someone remote who doesn't live in like Zimbabwe, so we can at least like see them if we have to. Maybe we'll have it be a remote work, but hopefully someone who lives in the area. Well, that makes me have to reconstruct my entire idea on this Why? whole project we got. This whole organization we're building. I thought Zimbabwe was the way they go, and you just totally shit. What about, what about like maybe like Barbados? All right, dreams building right, back up. Yeah, Barbados yeah. makes sense. Barbados does make sense actually. Makes way more sense. Makes way more sense. Man. Or Guam, it's U.S. territory. 
No, Barbados has a nicer ring to but it. You, but Guam's in the is in your popular Asian community. We're going to Guam. <laughs> We're going to Guam, baby. You don't even know where Guam is, you fucking idiot. It's in the water somewhere. You don't even know what ocean. You don't, you don't. You literally just think Guam is a made-up place. Like, yeah, got it in Guam. You don't know it's a real fucking don't place. You, fucking you don't know it at all. You're so out of bounds, man. Where's Guam? They got the prison on Guam. Guantanamo Bay is not yeah. the place as Guam. It's not in Guam? No. I, I really thought it was in Guam. No. I don't know. Guam's in the Pacific Ocean somewhere. It's a territory we have. Mm-hmm. I know where it is. Well, I said You got Pacific Ocean, right? I did, I did say it was a territory earlier. I didn't hear you say that, so fuck you. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, I don't know, though. I think maybe we go remote, but we try to get someone who's in Jersey, in Dirty Jersey. You know? That makes sense. That makes sense. It can't be a lot of money. <laughs> Which means they keep I'm up with thinking, that, that means we realistically can't ask them to do much, which is the problem. Here's what we're going to do. Actually, this is actually a pretty fair compromise. We're not going to pay them shit. <laughs> However, we will buy them two cases of whatever beer they like every two That's weeks fair. on us. <sighs> beer is expensive. Not Price be- things are going up. And we'll pay for their gas money for one trip. That's a pretty good deal. That's basically a salary in itself. How do we send it to them? Uh, Venmo. And they make the... No, how do we send them the episodes... Um, I don't ever hear this thing called email. You ever hear this thing called a Google Drive? Yeah, Fucking like, figure it out. Dude. Are the files gonna be too large for all that shit? I don't know, bro. He probably has to come over. We probably have to like let him have him in the guest room. Yeah. And like he gets that breakfast once a week or something. Well, <laughs> he gets that one meal every three days. He can pick whichever side of the day he wants it to be, but it's the same <laughs> meal. He can call it breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> he can call it whatever he likes. He's getting once every three days. Is it at least just, a good meal, or it's just like it, it's it's porridge. like gerbil food, it's porridge. Oh, it's tr- porridge, actual porridge. He gets to have porridge once every three days. Please, sir, may I have some more? That's all I get. That what a damn culture. See, I know things. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Good crowd. <laughs> I hate you so much. I hate me too. I hated it myself when it came out. I hate myself when I thought about it. Here's how much I really hate myself. I hate myself so much. I knew it was a stupid idea when I thought about it. And I still said it. <laughs> Dude, no, we need someone in house. We need someone in house who, who understands exactly when to hit the fucking button. Mm-hmm. We see something stupid. They're just like, Dude, lunchbox. Just, I'm trying, just, just dude. have Lunchbox paint with us. I'm trying. Lunchbox could sit in the guest wanna, room. Dude. That wouldn't be that fucking weird. He would get the time. He could just sit there and talk. We have a microphone right there. Yeah, he'd be a good. We have a third microphone. We do have a third microphone. We should buy a third cable. No, because we could just plug, we could just move this over there if he's controlling it. And he can just plug it straight into that one with the fucking USB to the back of it. Oh, you can do that plus the hard cable? Yeah. Ones? Dude, I think you, just FaceTime him since the fucking thing's not connecting. And keep the phone to, keep it. your phone to your, your mic. I'm going to try and connect it one more time. Oh, it is connected now. Sick. All right, good. Yeah, because this is a really good idea. I guess it changes his name to your assist, though, so if it's yeah, the theme. That's true. Make sure we set it on the call. We don't forget that part. I'm not going to. You're a dumbass. <laughs> Thanks for ruining the fucking You're veil welcome. of secrecy, you cunt. <laughs> Total transparency to 135 viewers. That was a little harsh, but I'm glad I said it. That's fine. <laughs> I said like I was Scottish. Oh, you cunt. Try to like let us when I'm ringing because of voicemail. Just, just leave a really long voicemail saying our idea. Though. I, think, I don't think he's one set up. If he does, let's leave a long one. Hey, this is Lunchbox. Please leave your message for... No, I'm not going to let his number. I'm not going to let his number be on the podcast. That's fair. I'll be nice. I'm not going to dox him. He's you man. could have easily just let him play then did an extra <laughs> bit of editing. <laughs> you know, muted that part of the sound. That's not happening, dude. Why not? It happened 13 minutes in. Try what? to call him one more time. See what happens. Maybe I'll answer this one. No. Don't no. <laughs> it. Just connect your phone and I'll connect my phone. All right. You know what I've been doing in my spare time? No, I'm not going to go through all that effort. You know what I've been right. doing in my spare time? Jerking off, probably. Besides that, I actually I figured I needed a second hobby. Taking German classes. We taking German classes you, with Duolingo. Yeah, Duolingo. And we signed up for that family plan. Yeah, I tried joining your family plan, and I think I have to wait till my current free trial is over because it said like yeah, to you didn't know join. that would happen, you moron. How could you join my plan? We're both paying for our own plan. Because mine's a free plan that's had to cancel, so and when mine. you sent me the link, it said it said it said change to your plan. It said do you want to change to Robbie's plan? I said yes. And it's like it's a no, it just didn't it didn't work. And I actually signed your free trial. That's what I just said. Yeah. But since it gave me the offer of switching, I'm like, I guess I just change immediately. No, it's too complicated. Give them too much credit. Out, yeah. Other than that, though, their program is fucking great. It's I cool. feel like I'm very fluent. Get, go ahead and test me. Uh, say I am Robbie. Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, it's Ishbin Robbie. Yeah, I keep forgetting I am. It's been. Ishbin? Ishbin. I knew, I knew I was Ish. S- what do you know the word for uh, water? 
Vasa. Do you know the word for beer? Beer. Wine? Vine. Bread? Brut. Daughter? Uh, Tafa. Son? Son. Mother? Uh, Muta. Father? Fata. Sister? Uh, Schwester. Brother? Bruder. Mine? Or my? Mine or miney. Yeah. Mina. Mina. Fuck me. I was doing so good for a minute. A? Ein. Or? Eine. Ina. Ina. What the fuck? I just made the same mistake back to back. I sincerely made the mistake back to back. Back to back. Exactly back, to back, to back, back. To back, to back. Yeah, that was fucking so stupid, man. God. Uh, what other words did we learn so far? Uh, uh, husband is man and wife yep. is fura, I think. Fra. Fra. Yeah, F-A-R. F-Fra. Smart F-R-A-U. Smart is glug. Mm-hmm. Clug, excuse me, clug. Clug. Klug. Klug. It's clug. Klug, yeah. It's spelled clug. You're such a dumbass. It's hard speaking two languages. It's super easy speaking German, actually. And gross is tall. Mm-hmm. And tush is tush. goodbye. Tush. Tush. Yeah, I fuck you saying tush. I'm an idiot. You're a dumbass, dude. You're missing everything. What, you want to just break everything I got from dude, Austria? Dude, suck. Yeah, Why don't you? Once. Ch- yeah, I watched See how casually it. I dropped that? You're pretty, pretty, you're pretty well traveled, guy. Um, right. I was in Germany too, technically. That sucked in. Actually, this is actually this is actually might give me some points for being actually somewhat somewhat cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so when we when I went to Austria, there was a layover flight from Germany. So I flew eight hours, eight and a half hours to Germany, hung out for an hour, got on the next flight, which is an hour flight to Austria. The only purchase I made in Germany was the German Playboy magazine. That's cool. The only thing I did my entire hour long I had in Germany. I didn't even bother looking around in the fucking airport. I went to the magazine spot, bought a German Playboy, sat down and waited for the flight. That's sick. And now I can speak German. You can speak German now. Comes full circle, man. Did you buy it with a, what are they, are they euros or Deutsche marks and shit? I don't remember. But the chick at the register was also super hot. I'm like, really? It could have been some dude. I didn't feel like such a fucking little weasel pervert. Dude, no, dude. You should have, that should have been your opener, dude. You should no, you should have handed the magazine to think you can top that. You should have said to her. Oh, it was so cool. <laughs> that was so douchey. Hello. 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 Can you top this? Two. No, not two. It's uh It's do. Do, yeah. Hello okay. two. Bitte. Can you top this bitte? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like she can you top me off. Yeah. You said man. She got it. She got it. Dude, below Jays, man. And uh that's why I'm speaking German now. I've um, been there for the last ten years. I watched a, a clip of South Park last night. And I'll be honest, for the first time ever, I was actually laughing my ass off about it. Yeah, when they made fun of the Jonas Bros, I laughed my ass off at that. That's funny that was too. Fucking hilarious. With, oh my god, Mickey, that was that, you know there. There's, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I always think there's the show sucks. There's there. some gems in there, and also they're right in the show. Like one week advance, what are you gonna expect from it? It's fucking crazy that they do that. Yeah, is that good or bad? They do that because that was the, they're, they're always topical with their referencing, but then they immediately dates them x amount of weeks later. Especially the things they're referencing don't end up being a cultural thing like you think it might be in the moment. That's true. Um, I think it probably works. If you, I think it works, rewatchability maybe not as much, but no, no, cause it probably works just fine. Because if you're watching it in the moment, it's culturally relevant, and if you love it enough to watch it again, you're already happy watching it. That's a really fair point. So I think you're kind of safe actually in that realm. I think it's hard to make references now because the way culture is constantly so fucking rapid. You I'm talking about that in school time. actually. I was talking Are about really? agents of socialization in my sociology class and how. Dude, I'm starting to think everything's it's really thinking it's a simulation. Yeah, it's nonstop. Everything just kind of keeps fucking quinky dinking mm-hmm. itself for no fucking circle. reason. Full circle, full circle, full circle. circle. What were we saying about class? I'm sorry. No, agents of socialization and how um, it dictates the way people act and think and feel and how they operate and how they look and everything else, like the trends and the fads and everything else and how we're becoming more based on trends and fads and everything else. It makes me feel incredibly uncomfortable. Because religion's a social agent, fucking, or an agent of socialization. News is an agent of socialization. School is an agent of socialization. Social media, now, now Jake is calling me. This guy. Damn. What, now, now you got time for me, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty fair. All right, what's up, man? Um, so yep. when are you gonna be moving to New Jersey and painting with us, and also joining the podcast? Tomorrow. Oh, sick! You're moving. You just gonna come crash here for a bit? So you you got a place lined up or what? You're just gonna crash here? Yeah. You, I mean, there's, you got a guest room? Yeah. Why not? Right. <laughs> that works for me. So you're gonna come here. Get the. You're gonna. You, you finally buy, you finally buy that PC finally too? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, but we got three. Listen here, check me out, right? The podcast we got three microphones here, right? So we're we're literally waiting for you. We got three microphones set up, and then we're just staring at the empty microphone right now. Like, you know, you do that. We do some painting. We chill. We chill. We chill. So like, you know, what's up with it? Yeah, we can do that. So here's the thing, lunchbox. I actually have two painting gigs lined up. So if you move to tomorrow, there's actually work for you already lined up. Yeah, you could have like, how, Jake, how much money do you have in your wallet right now? <laughs> and we're You're st- right. And we're staring at that, em- that that empty mic spot, and I think it, I think it's Jake's mic. 
It is Jake's mic. I agree. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Okay, Jake, look at this page. I'll rephrase the question. Would you like to have an extra like thousand dollars in your wallet? <laughs> is that money in your right pocket burning too big of a hole, or is there enough room left over to have more money burning a bigger <laughs> hole? Say a thousand dollars worth of money burning a bigger hole. Do you think you, do you think you could handle having another thousand dollars in your name, Jake? <laughs> I'm saying that'd be too much. That'd be too much. And just so we're clear, this is a yearly salary we're offering. It's not. It's not. It's in your biweekly or weekly oh. paycheck. <laughs> you're gonna get like a dollar. You get like three dollars a day. <laughs> but hey, kid, if you work hard with us, bump that up to two next year. I said we gave him three. You fucking idiot. Oh, did you? I didn't hear that oh part. Good negotiating. I'm gonna get promoted if I perform well. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, you know what, Jake? That's like balls. We're gonna start off at four. You know what's messed up? Jake hasn't even been on the cast yet. He's a fake fan. That's true. That's pretty fucked up, dude. He's even recording an episode. We yet. want him to be the third uh, semi-regular to regular co-host, and he's like, "Nah, bro. We're offering you in on the ground floor, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? What? When you moving out here, dude? <laughs> what do you mean, what the fuck? How about you stop just talking the talk and learn how to walk the walk, there, Jake? Are you guys gonna kiss? The There's walk. a lot of sexual tension <laughs> between you. Are you guys gonna kiss right now? Oh, well, he has to move it first. Jake, how's that sound? How's Jake, that sound? Well, Jake? Hold, we yeah, get to make out once a week. Will you will you move here and paint houses with us? If so, hold on. You get to be on the podcast. You get to paint houses. And you get to make out with Robbie once a week. Once a week at a thousand dollars. Yes, thousand dollars making out with Robbie, painting houses, doing the podcast, and when you kiss him, you can grab his ass a little too. <laughs> Oh, that's just that to seal the deal right there. All right, man. Pleasure hey, to do business with you, Jake. Okay, hang up on him immediately. <laughs> See, there's chemistry there, man. He there's would fit far there, in the yeah. podcast. Man, he would, dude. It'd be awesome. He could be our Jamie. Only and also, cool. it's fine because we'll sit him over there for a different camera so you can't tell that he's way taller than both of us. It's genius. And how much do these cost? We can throw one of these. We'll give him the uh, orange one. <laughs> dude, it's $300. These chairs are, these chairs are $250. Take it out of his thousand dollar salary. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker doesn't even know the chair will be waiting. You're like, this is great. Oh, we didn't tell you this is included in your salary. Yeah, nice yeah, seat. that chair you actually paid for that, so you're getting you're actually not getting a thousand. Dude, hold on, seven hundred and fifty eight dollars. Hold on a second. Let's think about this legitimately. How can we re- rearrange this room a little bit where he can actually sit over there? Um, with the podcast machine because we take the chair because we want to rearrange the tables. Remember, and we yeah. had a cool idea for the table. Yeah, so that has to stay here. It's, it's too bad though that you have to tune in next week to figure out how that's going to go because uh, it's over. So, I guess, yeah.